on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here again. We're on part four now for our VLOOKUP series. Um, hopefully it gets wrapped up within the next two. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but these short videos are kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I know we got abruptly cut off again from the last video. We were just wrapping up with kind of showing you how important it is for what you're looking for. So the item that you're looking for in the formula, so the lookup value, needs to be in column one. So when we were showing with Tom's ID, this wasn't going to work because when we were looking for Tom, Tom wasn't in column one here out of what we were, have highlighted as the table array. So in this situation, what would need to happen is actually you can either add in a new column after this, after the, uh, after the employee name, or you can go ahead and try to move that. So what I would do, I would recommend, just since this is practice, I'm going to highlight this section, insert, shift cells to the right. So you see that kind of throws everything else off, right? Because we're essentially adding a fourth column. So all these other things, so right here, these answers all got updated. So you see, actually, because of what, and I didn't even mean for this to happen, but because of what was being highlighted, it's set to column two. So that's why you see here that the answer is updated to zero. So now is if we actually updated this one to be three, and then this one would actually have to update to four, then it would get the answers now. So hopefully actually that kind of might have been a happy accident. Hopefully that helped you kind of better explain how that works. Um, but let me go back to here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna actually just going to copy everything that's in so I'm actually doing control C, I'm just gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and control V and paste it. So now, what you can see here, we actually need to update this formula here. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this out. And I'm gonna try it again. So I wanna do VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, because we're looking for Tom. Too few arguments. Oh, because I forgot the comma. So now we're on the table array. two and because the employee ID three was here Tom's ID was three so hopefully that uh, helps kind of give you a better idea of how the VLOOKUPs work and what the column uh, index number means uh, when you're using it so in the interest of time I'm going to try to go through this because a lot of this will seem repetitive but I kind of wanted to show you a fast way of if you run into a VLOOKUP issue here, and if we wanted to kind of, I touched on recoding, right? Because if you see these employee IDs, and you, if you, someone who maybe who isn't as familiar with this coding or this terminology, it might be easier for you to see who this employee is, right? So we're gonna use this table over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna look up this value. I'm just clicking the cell like we were doing in the past. In this table array, now, what's really important here is what I'm about to show is how to drag down. Um, for this table array, the thing is with Excel, it will actually try to go with you when you're trying to drag down a formula. So what do I mean by that? Let's say, I'm not gonna do anything just yet, but I, just, I wanna show you what you need to do in a minute. So we're gonna highlight the table array, column index two, because we wanna show when it finds the employee ID, show me the employee name, and always false, right? So what you can actually do, if you see this bottom right corner, I don't know how familiar you are with Excel, but if you can actually drag that down and it will actually start to autofill for you so you don't even have to worry about it. So here's this NA. So why did this show up? So one thing you actually need to do, because Excel assumes as you drag down, it tries to follow what you're doing, so it kind of assumes you're trying to go to the next cell. So you might have just noticed, though, when you have the cell highlighted, you see, you look at the red, you look at the table array, you see how it's starting to go down as well. So that's why the NA started to appear, because the table array is getting sh shifted so far down, it actually, Billy isn't encompassed here. Um, so what I want to show you now is actually, you have to actually lock in the table array. And how you do that is actually click F4. And you see these little dollar signs show up around the cell. So that tells Excel not to move that location, right? So now if I start dragging down, 
notice that this updates and this all actually stays in place, right? So if you look at the formulas, you see H set 18, 16, 17, but the table array has not changed. Um, 